Our mission is to create a gateway to magma to learn how magma behaves and why it sits there so quietly. It's a mission towards uh, inner earth or near magma and this is something that has never been done before. We have the possibility of a stat change in our understanding of the magma hydrothermal interface. It's the sort of place where you can actually do things with the magma in a safe way and in which the infrastructure is available to do the work. There's nowhere else on the planet. Kepler Magma Testbed has the potential to be for the geosciences what a large hadron collider has been for particle physicists. Back in the 60s, 70s and early 80s, there was a project to drill into lava lakes in Hawaii. And that's as close as we could imagine getting to an actual magma chamber. The dream suddenly became true four decades later. I was the project manager for the Iceland Deep Drilling Project in the year 2009. When we drilled uh, into magma at 2,100 meter depth, it was totally unexpected. The team never believed that uh, we had intercepted magma, but uh, later on we noticed that uh, we had a quenched glass on surface. This gives us the opportunity now to drill back into it and create a gateway to this magma body. This is where the idea of KMT started. Kravla Magma Testbed is a project where we want to drill into magma on purpose to understand the magma hydrothermal interface. It will create the opportunity to study earth science, basic earth science, volcano monitoring and hazards, and uh, geothermal energy, direct magmatic energy. We'll be able to make it a real, unique, natural laboratory capable of catalyzing the research by many scientists from all over the world. Iceland is unique because there's a long and strong uh, knowledge base, both in geothermal and vulcanology, we can tap into in this process. Krafla in particular is one of the most uh, researched volcano in the world. We have a very good infrastructure. What we're talking about here is rhyolitic magma, which is particularly important because it's what forms continents and things. It's what makes the Earth. This magma is a relatively thin, laterally elongated body, which we believe is ideal for setting up the magma observatory to drill into, instrument, sample, and manipulate magma. To be able to drill down to magma, we need to prepare well and we are in the phase of preparing the Krafla Magma Testbed project. We are studying the technical challenges of drilling down, defining which material to use and defining which methods to use when drilling. We know where magma is and we know it is not prime to erupt, giving us the opportunity to learn how to safely drill into magma. We see these challenges as opportunity for testing new technologies, developing a robust magma exploration strategy and bringing together different disciplines into the world of magma. Hopefully in 2024, uh, we'll be ready to actually drill this first hole to magma. Project one is a single drill hole, which will enter the magma body. And hopefully we will be able to stay there for, for several years. We anticipate that sort of 10 years from now, there will be a series of drill holes, a series of laboratories on the surface, an education facility, tourists can come and visit, schools can come and visit and understand what we're doing, and also an innovation park to create a zero carbon fuel, for example. We have over 40 institutions, universities and companies engaged in the project and we also have a strong support from governments around the world, from Iceland, from the UK, from US and others. Our pro project was accepted by the International Continental Scientific Drilling Program. The program saw that this is, is the future to cross frontiers in the earth. This project cannot be carried out unless we have a partnership with Geothermal Power Company. After all, we are going to understand the energy of geothermal system, so it is vital. Landsvirkjun, the national power company of Iceland, is the leading power company in the country, generating about 70% of the power. And Landsvirkjun is the operator of the Krabla Geothermal Power Plant. We want to contribute our experience to the wider research community. We need to do more R&D work. 
And that's exactly the opportunity this project can bring us to develop our technology further, to make better material selection, and to develop our drilling technology. The magma geothermal energy is 10 times uh, more effective than shallow geothermal. There are environments like Trashla which exist in Africa, which exist in Mexico, where we can actually apply this technology. The Trafla magma testbed gives us that opportunity to totally revolutionize our capability to forecast volcanic eruptions. What the Krapla Magma Testbed project might teach us is, are there shallow magma pockets at various places in volcanoes? This is potential for in increased hazard should there be uh, renewed intrusions into the volcano. Anything that's learned in one volcano is usually applicable to several other volcanoes around the world. Having the know-how is extremely important for us uh, as a society and, and community. It makes us more secure. With the KMT project, we have the opportunity to bring science back into this region and carry out a world-class science project in collaboration with the local people. We want to be sustainable, we want to use our land wisely, and I think this project could be doing that. We see the KMT project as one of the pillars that will help us to build a local know-how community in the, in the years to come and uh, we are really looking forward to the future involvement.